Hello, this is Trinot, and welcome to Let's Play Torchlight Part 4. We last left off having killed the Overseer. Now it's time to go deeper, after a little bit of inventory management. The beauty of these sunken gardens shines through an age of dust and decay. Why did they fall to ruin? Could the same corruption that affects me now be responsible for this century's old destruction? The thought that this blight could be so ancient unnerves me, but if it consumes me, I must go deep enough that I can never escape to do harm. And there is still hope, a fool's hope, but I cling to it. Welcome to the Asterian Ruins. These ruins! I've read of them! This is Asteria. Their discoveries are the foundation of my art. Oh, I wish Brink could see this. I have reactivated these three rune gates, but it is the fourth that leads deeper. Some threat must have caused the Asterians to disable it. The destination glyphs are missing. We'll need to find those missing glyphs to continue. Search the active gates while I study this chamber. Hurry, there are many obstacles between us and the Emberforge below. You heard the lady. Or if you didn't, we have to find three MacGuffins to get to the next area to go down and save our butts from some random corruption thing. The Asterian Ruins have an odd quality in that you actually get to choose the floor that you go on, rather than dealing with all three in sequence. We encounter some new enemy types here. First is the Tunnel Spider. The Tunnel Spider will shoot webs that slow you down. We again have the Pale Shamblers, but next to it is a Thorn Strider. Thorn Striders are heavy-hitting biggies, but they are very weak to elemental damage since I'm such an elemental damage wielder, they don't pose too much of a problem. One of the major enemies in the Asterian Ruins are the Pygmies. The Pygmies are spear bomb shovers and generally hurt in fighting swarms. The other problem with the Pygmies are the Pygmy Chanters. They will shoot poison bolts and resurrect Pygmies, and are generally important to take down lest you get swarmed by pygmies that never die. While I fight this big spider, I'll explain my strategy for this area. Basically, in the Asterian Ruins, you'll want to make sure that the spiders that shoot webs don't get in your way too much, or else you'll be slowed down and caught up by enemies that really want to kill you. The tree people are not a problem because they suffer so much from elemental damage and have low armor, even though they have high health. The pygmies work like any other basic mook. You simply keep away from them, shoot them, and slow them down if necessary. Let the swarms of minions deal with them, and so on. My frost missile is a great boom right now, simply because it can slow the enemies so well. It really goes to show how spells that you acquire as items in Torchlight are some of the better things you can use. Our quest has been completed. Let's not forget fishing. Another unique aspect of the Asterian Ruins is that each floor ends with a special chamber that you're teleported to, essentially another mini floor. This small area tends to have a bunch of champion and unique creatures. It will also have the MacGuffin that we need to progress. Clear this small area of monsters and we head out back to the central hub. One down, two to go. Of course, I have to stop in town first to do various things like turn in quest and, and manage inventory. Fun. Fun. 
After town, it's time to go straight into the dungeon again. This time I'm on floor 12, ready to kill some monsters. The usual chaos ensues, where I wander around while my minions do all the damage. Fun times. But really, floor 12 and the next floor are very similar to the rest of the Asterian Ruins. There's not much difference between the dungeon areas. I may have done some phase portals, I may have done some monster killing, but overall, we'll just add some... Fun times. Fortune smiles on me. Unfortunately, my recording setup decided to lag out during this set, so this will only be half of a dungeon area rather than a full dungeon area video. Expect more shenanigans and fun times during the next part. Maybe some monster killing and inventory management. Lots and lots of inventory management.